Hey guys, welcome to HealthArt. So before we get started, make sure to hit that like button, also subscribe to my channel. In this video, I will be discussing 12 foods you shouldn't eat if you have high blood pressure. If you struggle with high blood pressure, you know the constant battle to watch your diet in order to improve your health. The foods you eat and don't eat very much factor into your blood pressure. For instance, high sodium foods disrupt the balance of water in your body, which strains your blood vessels and causes blood pressure to rise. 1. Chicken We know what could possibly be wrong with this staple of family dinners and lunchtime sandwiches across America. But chicken, even before you put anything on it, is often injected with salt water solutions during processing, making it a hidden source of sodium. In fact, chicken sits eighth on the CDC's list of top 10 sources of sodium. One four ounces boneless. Skinless chicken breast can contain anywhere from 40 milligrams to 330 milligrams of sodium. Check the label. The sodium content should be 70 milligrams, a serving or less. 2. Bacon and deli meat. Roast beef, ham, bacon. It doesn't really matter which deli counter item you choose. They're all loaded with sodium. Even the low salt ones are pretty high in sodium, says McManus. Just six thin slices of deli meat can contain half of your recommended daily sodium intake. According to the American Heart Association, AHA, which uses 1,500 milligrams as the ideal daily amount, lower than other guidelines suggesting 2,300 milligrams. When you consider two lowly strips of bacon weighing in at 330 milligrams of sodium, you can see the problem. 3. Sandwiches That's a pretty broad category for sure. But the truth is, the majority of classic sandwich components are not friendly to your blood pressure. For instance, an average turkey sandwich on whole wheat bread with mayo, a pickle, and a slice of cheddar comes out to about 1,315 milligrams of sodium, notes Desiree Nielsen, R&D, author of Eat More Plants Cookbook. The good news, you don't have to swear off Sammy's for good, but make them yourself and load them with fresh veggies, hold the mayo. 4. Bread True fact, yeast bread including rolls, bagels, flour tortillas, and wraps, rank first as the food item that contributes the most sodium to American diets, according to the ADHA. For some perspective, just one slice of Whole Foods organic 100% whole wheat sandwich bread contains the sodium equivalent of 22 potato chips. When shopping, look for loads with 5% daily value, DV, or less for sodium. A DV of 20% or more is high. 5. Canned Soup Thanks to modern techniques, we no longer need salt to preserve canned goods. But since food can lose its flavor when it's cooked to sterilization and stored in a can, it's common for manufacturers to still add a lot of salt, says Nielsen. Canned soups contain anywhere from 100 mg to 940 mg of sodium per cup. Look for ones labeled unsalted, sodium-free, or low sodium. Low sodium means 140 milligrams of sodium or less per serving. And if it's a broth-based soup, you can also dilute it with a low sodium broth, says McManus. 6. Alcohol. Consuming 7 to 13 alcoholic beverages a week can substantially raise your risk of high blood pressure, according to recent research. It's thought that alcohol in this amount may stimulate the sympathetic nervous system, which ups cortisol levels and creates an imbalance in the vascular inflammatory system, says Kimberly Parks, do an integrative cardiologist and assistant professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School in Boston. 7. Restaurant Meals Look, no one's telling you to skip your anniversary dinner or holiday party. But you're better off saving eating out for special occasions since 71% of people's sodium intake comes from foods eaten outside of the home, according to a report in Circulation. Another study found that fast food eaters consume six times more sodium than they think. If you're eating out, follow these tips. Order the lunch portion. Don't order items that are pickled, cured, or smoked. Skip the soy sauce and ask for dressing on the side. 8. Frozen Dinners So nice to heat and eat on your sofa, but you know what? 
These dishes are usually salt bombs. Frozen dinners and pizzas are very high in sodium, says McManus. Even if you're buying a low-calorie frozen meal from a healthy brand, often when they reduce the fat content, they also dump in sodium to add flavor. Before you buy, check the label. If the sodium content of the entree is 600 milligrams or less, it's okay as a once-in-a-while meal. 9. Sauces and condiments My patients will often say that because they don't use table salt, they must not be getting much sodium. They don't realize that sodium hides out in the condiments, says Parks. Packaged sauces and dressings are also often high in saturated fat and added sugar. When possible, DIY is always healthier for condiments. And watch your serving size. Use a tablespoon or less per serving and opt for low sodium and no added sugar versions. Even better, swap hot sauce for red pepper flakes and mayo for hummus or avocado. 10. Pizza Just one slice of cheese and pepperoni pizza can contain more than half of your daily recommended dietary sodium. Heck, even if you go for the veggie version, you're still knocking your blood pressure. For example, one slice of Domino's deep dish veggie pizza contains 616 milligrams of sodium, while a slice of Pizza Hut Veggie Lovers pan pizza clocks 512 milligrams. And also, who eats just one slice? 11. Salty Snacks It's a big no-duh that snack foods like chips, popcorn, pretzels, snack mixes, and crackers are high in sodium. But what you might not know is that chips or crackers labeled reduced sodium aren't necessarily low in sodium. It simply means that the bag or box in your hands has at least 25% less sodium than the original variety. Better to opt for low-sodium snacks that offer 140 mg of sodium or less per serving. 12. Sugar-sweetened beverages It's no shock that soda's full of empty calories, but it is surprising how little it takes to impact blood pressure. A study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that just one sugar-sweetened beverage a day can bump your numbers higher. Combine that with another study in nutrients that found reducing added sugar intake by just 2.3 teaspoons can lead to a drop in hypertension readings and you have alleged reason for steering clear of the sweet stuff. P.S. A 12-ounce can of cola contains more than four times that amount of sugar. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.